In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create and publish word search puzzle books on Amazon KDP. And basically, this is what a word search puzzle looks like. This is one type of activity book that gets a lot of sales on Amazon. And I'm going to walk you through how you can create and publish something like this very easily using ChatGPT. ChatGPT is going to make this process very easy for us. And we'll have our book published on Amazon in just five simple steps. The first step is to pick the title of your book. Puzzle books are usually around certain theme. You might have a puzzle book about engineering. You might have a puzzle book about medicine. You might have a puzzle book about football. You might have a puzzle book about traveling and so on and so forth. And most times people get to buy these books based on their interests. Somebody who loves traveling a lot will want to buy a travel themed puzzle book. And somebody who loves cats will want to buy a cat themed puzzle book. So basically you want to pick a title for your book, which is the theme. There are no limits to the type of puzzle books you can create. You can create a puzzle book about cars, about the name of cities, anything you can imagine. You can easily come over to amazon.com and get to do the usual keyword research we used to do. Let me type in engineering, word search. And here you can see some results. Word search for kids, ages six to eight. Word search electrical engineering. So a book like this is going to have puzzles about engineering words. Here's one about civil engineering. And that's the basic idea of this kind of book. So pick a title, pick a theme for your book. And then in step two, we are going to use ChatGPT to generate the words for our puzzles. Before now, you need to go on Google and search for the words you use in your book one by one. But right now with ChatGPT, we can easily use just one prompt and we are going to get all the words we need and the right number. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Then step three, we are going to create the puzzles using BookBoot. After ChatGPT has given us the words we will need in our book in step two, BookBoot will form the puzzles for us. That is also automatic. You don't need to do any manual work here. And then step four, design the cover of your book. And then step five, we'll publish our book on Amazon so that people can buy it and we are going to make money. But before we proceed with step one, I need you guys to help me do three things. First, hit the like button, give this video a like because that really helps with the algorithm and I will really appreciate that. Secondly, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification so that anytime I upload another helpful video like this, you'll be the first to know. And then finally, go to the comment section and type in chat GPT. Just type chat GPT in the comment section so that I'll see the people that are actually following me in this video. So like, subscribe, and then type chat GPT in the comment section. And after you've done that, let's go on to create our book. For this video, I'm going to create a dog word search puzzles. The basic idea is that this book is going to contain word search puzzles about dog, words related to dogs and all of that. So this is going to be the title of my book. You can pick any title you want. Just a few minutes of research on Amazon is going to give you a lot of ideas as regard to the type of word search puzzle books you can create. And the good thing is because we are using ChatGPT for this process, it's going to be very fast. That means you can create a lot of these books in just a matter of 24 hours. And that way you can easily make more money by actually doing less. Now that I've picked my book title, the next step is to actually generate the words for my puzzle using ChatGPT. So let's come over to ChatGPT. You can use any model of ChatGPT for this, but I'm going to use GPT-4. And then we just need a single prompt to get what we want. So I'm going to type in my prompt right here. I'm going to tell ChatGPT, let's create a dog word search puzzle book that I can publish on Amazon KDP. Each puzzle is going to have 10 words and we'll have a total of 25 pages. Generate dog-related words for this word sad puzzle book. The words should be separated into different categories. Example, dog breeds, dog toys, etc. Each word must be less than 20 characters. Output should be in list format. Do not add numbers or bullets to the list, but you can number the categories. So this is my prompt, and you can use this same format as well. Basically, you want to replace the word dog with the theme of your book. Let's say if you are creating a word search puzzle book about history, you want to replace this dog with history. Whatever the theme of your book is, that's what you want to have here. Just replace the dog. Also, you want to do that for the other part as well. And then you can decide to change the number of words you are going to have on each page. For me, I'm going to have 10 words on each puzzle. But if you want to have maybe five words, you can replace 10 with five and then we'll have a total of 25 pages. 10 words per puzzle and 25 pages in total. 
will tell ChatGPT the number of words it should generate for us. If you want to have 50 pages, you can type in your 50 pages here. If you want to have 100 pages, you can type in your 100 pages right here. But I'm going to use 25 pages. Then generate dog related. You want to replace dog with the theme of your book. Remember, also for this example part, you can replace my example with examples that are relevant to the theme of your book. And then each word must be less than 20 characters. You should use the same. And every other thing basically should be the same. And then I'm going to click send. So ChatGPT started writing, but it is giving the results in a format that I don't like. I don't want these numbers on the list. And that's simply because we are going to copy this into an Excel sheet. And if we have these numbers, it's going to make the process longer for us. So the, without numbers is better. I'm going to try to correct ChatGPT by showing it the format that it should use. I'll just copy this and then I can just paste it right here. So this is the format I want ChatGPT to use. So I'll just copy this and paste it right here. Now I'm telling it, do not add numbering or bullets to the list of words. The output should be in this format. I'm showing it an example of what the output should look like. And now ChatGPT is going to actually do it the way I want it. And this is one thing you should understand when working with ChatGPT. You can keep correcting it until it gives you what you want. Now it stopped writing because it has reached the maximum limit for a single response. So what you just need to do is to type in continue so that I can proceed. Remember, I want to have a 25 page book with 10 words per page. That means I'm going to need 250 words. So just look at it as number one represents page one, number two represents page two, number three represents page three. That means it should stop when we get to number 25. So for it to continue, I'll just type in continue, and then you can see it picks up from number six, number seven, and then that's how we'll keep repeating until we get all the words we need. Now number 10, I'm going to type continue again. Number 15, I'll say type continue. This is number 20. Now we need five more, just within the last continue. And now we have 25 complete. The next step is to actually copy these words into an Excel sheet. So I'll come back to the first one. Just click on copy. You can actually use any Excel program for this, but I'm going to use Google Sheets. So I'll open Google Sheets right here. Start a blank project. And then what you basically need to do is to paste in your words right here. And guys, you want to pay attention to how I'm going to format this, because if you miss the formatting, then your book is going to be very scattered and people will not be able to use it. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that these categories at the top does not reflect. So for instance, number one, dog breed. Dog breed is the name of this category. Because we don't need the name of the category showing up as part of the puzzles, I'm going to delete this row, just right click, delete row, repeat the same for the others. For number two, delete the category row as well. The same for number three. And that's basically what I'm going to do for all of the others. Also, you want to make sure that there is a row in between each puzzle. So here from one to 10, is one puzzle on one page. Before the next puzzle that will be on the next page, there should be one blank row, okay? So here's a blank row, here's another one, and you want to basically have blank rows in between each category. Now I have the first five done. I'll come back to ChatGPT and copy the next set, which is this, just copy, and then just paste it under the same column, okay? Paste it here and then repeat the same, delete the categories. So you basically understand how to go about it. Delete this, delete number seven, number eight, and number nine. And then number 10, don't forget to leave a space in between each um, category. Then you just basically repeat the same thing for the others going to copy this. I'll just do that right away. No need to waste time on this step. Now I'm done formatting all my words and everything is in order. 
I can just go ahead and name this file. Let's say dog word search puzzles. And then the next thing you want to do is to export this as a .csv file. So click on file and then download. And then you see comma separated values or .csv, click on it. And your file is going to be downloaded as a .csv file. Now at this point, we are done with step one and step two. Step three is to create the puzzles using BookBook. There are a lot of tools out there that you can use to create your puzzles. But personally, I use BookBoot and that's the one I recommend. If you already have one that you use, that's fine. You can just go ahead and proceed with that from this step. But if you want to start using BookBoot for your business, because they also have a lot of other tools right on their platform, what you can just do is to click on the first link in the description. You are going to see this link right there in the description. So just click on it and that will bring you over to their website. They have a lot of tools here that will help you in your KDP business. But right now, what you basically want to do is to click where you have new BookBook Studio, click on it. So over here, you can just click on sign up for free and it will bring you to this point where you see the pricing. It starts from $9.99 per month and then they also have another plan for $19.99 per month. And the good thing is you can run a three-day free trial so I can check it if it's something you can use or not. So just pick the plan you want to use and click on free trial. Here you can just enter your name, email, then set a password for yourself, select your country, and then all of these other details are optional. Here I'll just click on acknowledge, whatever, and then click on next. And then here you can just enter your card name, card number, and the rest. You will not be billed during the free trial period. That's the first three days that you are going to use this tool. If you don't want to continue using the subscription, you just need to make sure that you cancel before the three day free trial period expires. So maybe on the second day, just make sure you cancel. But before you start the free trial, they'll require you to enter your card details. And then for this space where you have coupon code, I have a coupon code that will give you 20% discount when you pay for this tool. So you just need to check the description again and you're going to see this coupon code right there. So just copy the coupon code and then come over to this space and paste. If you use this coupon code, whenever BookBoot is going to bill you, you are going to enjoy a 20% discount. So just go ahead, register and get your account ready. After signing up, you can just log into your BookBoot account. So I already have an account. I'll log into my account right now. Just proceed to log in right here. Inside your account, we don't need all of these tutorials right now. Maybe when you have the time, you can go through them. What you need to do is to click here where you have research and then you have this option to create, click on create and then click on BookBoot Studio. And this is where we are going to create our book form. I'm going to start a new project so that I get to see how to set everything up from scratch. I'll delete this first. And then basically you want to click on create project, project type. I'm going to use paperback jaws interior. And that's because I'll be using Canva to design the cover of my book. So I don't need cover and interior, but if you need the cover and interior, you can select cover and interior. If you need just the cover, this tool can help you do all of that. But right now we work with just paperback interior and then you can give your project a name. For the project name, I'm going to use the title of my book. So I'll come back here and just copy my book title and then paste it in here. And then for the trim size, you want to use 8.5 by 11 inches. And then interior paper type, we're going to work with black and white interior with white paper. And then bleed, you want to check bleed. And then page count. Now what you want to do here is to multiply the number of puzzles you have in your book by two. So because I'm having 25 puzzles in my book, if I multiply it by two, that means I'm going to need 50 pages and then I want to add two extra leaves, one at the front and then the other one at the back. This will serve as an extra layer between the cover of the book and the main interior. And each leaf is basically two pages and the both of them will make up four pages. So the 50 pages I need for my book and then four pages for the extra layer I need, which will make up to 54 pages. So I'm going to change this from 24 to 54. If you want to create your book this way, just multiply the number of puzzles you have by two and then add four pages. So let's say if you're having 50 puzzles, 50 times two will be 100 and then 100 plus four pages, that's 104. So you want to type in 104 as the page count 
and then go ahead and click on create project. Now we have a brand new workspace. And what you want to do right now is to click on this page template icon, this here. If I click on it, it is going to give us a lot of low content templates. And because I'm creating a word search puzzle, I'll just filter by word puzzle. So here I'll just look for word search and this is it, this word search right here. I'll click on it. Now right here, you need to select the pages you want to have the puzzles on. For me, the first two pages is going to be blank because this will be the first leaf after they open the cover. Then I'm going to select 25 pages because I have 25 puzzles. So I can just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You also have the option to enter the pages you want to have. You might not be able to count individually if your book has a lot of pages. And after you've selected your pages, you can just click on next. And then this is where you get to set the parameters for your puzzles. For the margin, it's going to be one inch to the top, one inch right margin, and then one inch for bottom and left. That's one inch all through. Then you can get to select the font you want to use for your puzzles. Also the font size, I'll just use the default. Font color, I'm going to use complete black. Also what font color, complete black as well. Then maximum words per page, mine is 10. Remember that's what we started with, 10 words per page. Then if you want to have diagonal words, you can select yes or no, depending on what you want. Also, if you want to have reverse words, words that will go from the back, you can select yes, but I don't want to have reverse words. That would be too difficult. Then clue type, I'm going to use columns. Stroke width, two pixels is okay. Solution highlighter, I'll stick with ellipse. Then the solution highlighter color, I'll use the default color. Cell outline, I'm going to use complete black. You can use any color you want. Cell color should be default, which is white. Then I'm going to check add solution after the puzzle pages. This can really help people check if what they are doing is correct. And also very important for extremely difficult words. So I'll add solution after the puzzle pages and then use random words and sentences, use capital letters. Down here where we have clue word sort, I'm going to use the default setting, which is short to long. And then bleed mode, I'll also use the default setting, which is work area to consider KDP margins. And then make sure you check one template per page so that each puzzle is going to be on its own page. And then the next thing you need to do after all of that is to upload the CSV file of your words. Remember the CSV file, we created earlier, we just need to upload it right here. So I'll click on choose CSV file and then select the file, this is it, and then click on open. After uploading, just go ahead and click on submit. In just a matter of seconds, BookBolt is going to get everything done for us. All right, that is done. And if I come back to page three, you are going to see the first page of our puzzle here. Also, you can see all of the others as well. And everything looks good. Again, don't forget to check through to make sure that everything is okay before you proceed. But basically right now I have the puzzles I need. And if I come back to the pages with the solution, you can see all of the solutions. So what I'm going to do right now, I'll come back to the first page, click on this text icon, and then select the text format you want to use. I'm going to select this. And then just type in the title of my book. You can basically type in anything. Then you can use these tools at the top here to basically format your text. Let's say if you want to reduce the font size, you can just come over here and then just drag the font size down a little bit. You can also adjust the line height and then the character spacing. You can play with all of that. And um, I'm just going to drag this to the top. Just at this point, it's okay. Also, you can select the font you want to use. So there are a lot of fonts here for you to pick. I'm not going to bother with all of that at the moment. Another thing you can do is to go ahead and add the name of the categories as the title for each puzzle. Let's say the first puzzle, the first puzzle is all about dog breed. I could decide to add the name of the category at the top here, just bring in a text. Let's say I'll see use heading and then paste in the name of my category. And I'm going to reduce the font size a little bit. 
and then you can basically style the text but whatever you decide to do make sure there are no text or elements going outside of these green lines and that's something that is very simple to do so you can decide to go ahead and add the name of the category for each puzzle just come over the second category is dog toys i could decide to add dog toys to the second puzzle but i'm not going to do that for this book so i'll just delete this just go ahead and do all the things you need to do but let's say i'm satisfied with what i have the next step for me is to save this as a pdf file and then we can go ahead and upload to amazon so what you want to do is to click on download and then you want to select download format you want to go for the first option which is download current project that's the entire project all the pages in cmyk so i'm going to select this and then it's going to take maybe two seconds so our file has been downloaded it's in zip format so i'll just click on it to unzip and this is it if i open it you can see what we have now that we have the interior of our book ready the next step which is step four is to design the cover of your book and because i don't want to make this video too long i've already designed the cover that i will use for this book this is the cover of my book and you can easily design something like this for yourself on canva i'm not going to show this process because i've already covered how to design and format your book covers for amazon kdp in previous videos and i'm going to link them in the description just in case you don't know how to create your book cover you can just check those videos out and create a very simple cover like this for yourself. Once you have your cover in place, I'll just go ahead to publish my book on Amazon. So what you want to do is log into your Amazon KDP account. Again, if you don't have a KDP account yet, then check my video on how to create a KDP account. The link is going to be in the description. Basically, once you log into your KDP account, you know the normal process of publishing a book. Click on create, then select the type of book you want to create. We are creating a paperback. Then you want to enter the title of your book. This is very easy. I'll just copy my book title, which is this Dog Word Search Puzzles. Paste it in here. Then for the subtitle, this is my subtitle. Copy and then come over and paste. And then for the series, I'm going to skip this. Edition number, skip this as well. Auto name, just enter the name you want to use. If there are contributors, you can enter the name of the contributors. Then right here, you want to type in the description of your book. I am going to tell ChatGPT to write my description for me. And this is the prompt I'm going to use to write my description. I'm telling ChatGPT using the IDA copywriting framework, write an engaging and compelling amazon kdp product description for this book include a call to action inviting people to order a copy of the book then details readers need to know about this book it is perfect for dog lovers contains 25 word side puzzles and then solution for each puzzle included at the back now i'm going to send let's see what chat gpt is going to write for us so this is the description chat gpt wrote i'll just copy we need to make some modifications. That's why it is important for you to read through the output chat GPT gives you. So I'm going to remove all of these labels because people don't need to see them. Then it says, attention dog lovers, are you ready to dive into? Right, so I'm going to push this into another paragraph. Push this into another paragraph as well. Then this one of a kind book, whatever, whatever. I'm going to remove this. Don't wait any longer. Just click the other number button. Then to get a copy of this. Yeah. So every that thing is in place. Then I want to include the title of my book in the description. Chat GPT didn't do that. So I'm going to use. Yeah, so introducing dog word search puzzles designed exclusively for you. Now, let's say I'm okay with what we have right now. I'll just scroll down, publishing rights, check I own the copyright, and then you can enter the keywords. Chat GPT can also help us get the keywords. So I said suggest seven Amazon SEO keywords for this book. So these are the keywords Chat GPT is giving us. So we can just easily copy each one of them, copy number one, and then just paste in the first space, and then repeat the same 
number two, the keyword chat GPT is giving us is not really the best, but I'll still go with it because it saves a lot of time. After that, I'll scroll down, select two categories for my book. I'll select puzzles, and then I'm going to select Word and Word Search, and then I'll click on Save. Then does your book classify as any of these? It's last print. Then does this book contain languages? No. And then I'll click save and continue. Then for the ISBN, I'm going to click assign me a free ISBN. And then publication date, just keep this. Then print options is going to be black and white interior with white paper. Then for the theme size, it's 8.5 by 11 inches. Here is it. Then bleed settings, bleed. Then paperback cover finish, I'm going to use matte. Then here you need to upload the manuscript of your book, which is basically the interior of your book. That's one we got from BookBoot. So I'm going to upload manuscript. And this is it right here. I'll click on open, uploading. Our file is done uploading, but I forgot to change the name of the file to the name of our book. So I'm going to change the file name to the name of our book. You can actually upload it with any name, but using the name of your book helps a lot with SEO. So I'll come back to where we have the PDF file and then just rename this to the title of our book, Dog Word Search Puzzles. And then I'll come back and upload again. That is good. I'll scroll down to the book cover section. I'm going to click on upload the cover, then just upload my cover file. This is it. And then open. That is uploading. Cover uploaded successfully. Now we need to launch Previewer so that Amazon can check the formatting of our book. If it's okay, then we can proceed. That is done and we don't have any issues with this book. Just in case there's any error with your book, you just need to correct that, very simple. And then we upload again. But for me, I'm going to click on approve and then scroll down, click on save and continue. This is the final step of the process. You want to select the territories, all territories for me. Then primary marketplace is going to be amazon.com. Then for the price, I'm going to use, let's say 5.99. Then I'll check expanded distribution. And then I'll scroll down and just click on publish your paperback and that's basically it guys amazon just need to review your book maybe in 72 hours or less and your book is going to be available on amazon for people to buy now you just need to follow this process and create as many word search puzzle books as you can and put them right there on amazon and when the sales start coming in you are going to start making money if you have any questions from everything i've talked about in this video let me know in the comment section and if you appreciate the value in this video, don't forget to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel so I get to know whenever I make another video again. And also go to the comment section and type in chat GPT. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and type chat GPT in the comment section. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.